Aaron Morant, double diamond. That bad really. Is, they, they brought us tissues out. Look at this. We made a deal on the phone that um, if I can't start crying, but I can cry if she starts crying. Oh, wow. So we'll see what happens. Um, <laughs> no guarantees. <laughs> so Karen, you know, you have three children. I do. Uh, your oldest two are twins, right? and your son Lane is really one of your reasons for being in. He's one of your, it's your why, basically. Explain to the crowd why Lane's your why. Um, I have a son that has cerebral palsy. Um, when my twins were four and a half months old, um, my son stopped breathing uh, for unknown reasons. And they revived him, but he was left with a severe brain injury. Um, so he usually has to go to respite um, when I come to boot camps or any kind of trainings. And I'd come back from the Calgary boot camp and uh, usually thought he was pretty happy going there. And found out when I picked him up that he'd been really unhappy and crying. But I just didn't want, you know, him to be in a home forever. I'd always heard that people tell to tell me that he probably would have to be cared for by someone else as he got bigger. And I just thought, why should he, after suffering all his life, why should he have to be less important than my other children? Right. So I, I got home from the boot camp, I picked him up, and I just had always heard Kirsten say, you know, if your why doesn't make you cry, then, you know, you might not stay in this business. And I knew at that very second that that was my why, that I need to do this so I could support my son. And I knew that I wasn't going to get the outside help that, you know, we were expecting all these years. And, you know, he's now 18, he's 125 pounds. Um, it's been really difficult. It's been difficult for my other my other children, my daughter, you know, his twin sister. She's you know helped had to babysit, help out, you know, all her teenage years. And I want to do something great for all, all my family. So I got home that night and I messaged Kirsten and I said like, aha, like that is my moment. And I now know why I'm in this business because I'm going to be able to do anything I want. Um, I can now hire a nanny for my son. He can stay home and be happy in his own home. <laughs> you know, I need a, a wheelchair accessible van. I'm going to be able to get a new um, house. Um, my, my twins are graduating in, in June and I'm going to take my daughter to London to see Michael Buble. And Jackie, wherever you are out there, I'm going to get we're going together. Um, <laughs> um, so I'm just so thankful for this opportunity. And, you know, we're all born into uh, our families, but I'm so, I feel so this blessed that we've all been able to choose this family and the possibilities are endless. What, what uh, you know, one of the things you said is you have to be happy with where you are and keep going. Yeah, like I, you know, I didn't get to come to conference last year. It was my, I, my son, my youngest son is turns eight on Monday. And mm. last year's conference fell right on his birthday. And so I chose not to go, but I still, you know, made it to Diamond, got my good bonus, got my car bonus. Just knew I had to do it. Um, got to Diamond at the end of July. And going. still just didn't feel like... I was happy with where I was at. I was, I was trying to, you know, the very next day after I promoted, I get to the, you know, want to get to the next level. And I didn't get to Dash, and I was really disappointed. And I finally just had to realize that, I mean, my salary is seven times what it was working outside my home. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. And my life is a little mm, bit harder to leave a lot with my son. And so if I get there in two years or five years, I'm going to be an ambassador, I know it, and I mean... That is great advice. Give it up one more.